Okay, so a lot of us have uh, project cars, trucks, motorcycles, whatever, stuff that sits throughout the, uh, the winter or sits for long periods of time while we're working on it. In this case, it's my FRS. Um, so it's no surprise that we need to have a good battery charger for it to make sure that the battery stays in operating condition. Um, newer cars, obviously, they have a lot of electronics that are constantly draining things. Um, so if you let it sit there for a couple weeks, it might either have trouble starting or it won't start at all. Um, so for now, I've uh, picked up the Die Hard uh, smart battery charger. The big difference between this and some of the other battery chargers is that this one's got Wi-Fi built in. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in and take a look see what we've got. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get this puppy out of the box. Um, so pretty simple, fairly compact, and uh, front flips open, gives you product info and whatever else. So first thing, Got the uh, battery charger itself. Looks like it's got a little clip, uh, a hook, so you can kind of flip and, and close that. Uh, all the wires. And some instruction manuals. Okay, and now that we've gotten this unboxed, I uh, did the bundle here. So you'll end up with the charger. So you've got, of course, the wall plug uh, for it, and then the charging lead. Moving aside, uh, we've got a direct battery connection hookup. So this would be good if you want to keep this permanently installed. Um, it does have the quick connector on here, so that way obviously you don't have to uh, uninstall it every single time you charge your battery. But basically, you bolt these right on your battery, and uh, whenever you need to keep a charge, plug it in. When you're done, unplug it, and the lead stays nice and uh, compact and protected. Also included, looks like we've got a cigarette lighter adapter for vehicles that allow power to uh, uh, be charged in the battery that way. And then lastly, we've got our traditional uh, clips uh, along with the quick connector for uh, the charger. Okay, so now we got the uh, unit plugged in here and as soon as you do, it'll say connect battery on the display. So I've got a six volt battery here uh, that has sat around for a while, so let's uh, see what happens when we get that plugged in. So, all right, so now that that's plugged in, battery, so it shows that the battery is connected now and that the battery is charging. Now, automatically selects 6 volts or 12 volts, so pretty much uh, all is good. And then that's pretty much it. So, super basic. Um, and this is uh, obviously the charger uh, when it's running like normal. Now, this charger does have the Wi Fi function, which we'll be getting into here in a moment. Um, but in the meantime, at least uh, we can see that the charger does indeed work. And it's got the nice little hook on the back there, so if you want to hang it up under the hood or hang it on the wall or something like that, obviously that makes it nice and easy. Okay, so now onto the Wi-Fi section of this. Um, first, you're going to need to download the app. Uh, so if you just search on your App Store Die Hard Smart Battery Charger and Maintainer, um, that will pop up and obviously go ahead and install that. Okay, so for the Wi-Fi part, um, the directions here say that you need to plug the uh, charger in. So go and plug that in. And as soon as the uh, stuff starts scrolling, go ahead and press and hold the uh, menu button here. And then it'll enter Wi-Fi setup. So now that Wi-Fi is now on there, we have to go to our phone and we're going to be searching. There it is and go ahead and connect to the uh, Wi-Fi for the phone, or not for the phone, for the charger. Okay, so after that says, we need to go and we're gonna open up the screen now. Go ahead and agree to a bunch of fine print, probably giving your uh, life away, but well, 
I'm gonna go ahead and hit get started. And it's asking what's set up, perfect. Done that, done that, perfect. Now apparently we have to launch the web browser and uh, set it up through the internet, of course. Okay, so it's basically saying, uh, so now it's gonna pull up a list of all of the Wi-Fi in the area. So you do need to have Wi-Fi in order for the Wi-Fi from the charger, obviously, to make it to the app. So go ahead and select your Wi-Fi and enter in your password. So after you do that, it'll show up here, Wi-Fi setup, and that the charger now, which is a little blue light, is now trying to connect to our network. So as I was reading further into the instructions, once the little blue light shows up on your charger here, it's connected to your Wi-Fi and you're done. So although your phone will still say joining network, you're already joined, you don't need to worry about anything. Okay, so now that that's done, you can switch back over to uh, your app here. Entered everything in. Now you do need to set up a uh, Sears account, so if you don't have one, set it up. So after you go through and log in, I already had an account, so I logged in. It does say that uh, there's an account verification, so they'll send you an email. So after that, check your inbox for that. So once you do that, you'll get a thing that says, your email is verified, please blah, blah, blah. So now I'm gonna switch back over uh, to the app and log in. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so now that that's done, you're gonna go back. Uh, it'll show your, your account info. You're gonna go to add charger. Now they give you a slip with the charger. Do not lose it because it's got your info on there. Okay, LOL, um, you don't need to give a damn about this card, basically. Um, this just shows you where. So on your charger, on the side, you're gonna have your uh, your model number, the charger ID, and then the password as well. So go ahead and, and take a look on the side of the charger for that. So after you add the charger, it's gonna ask you to select the battery voltages. Now I will be occasionally using this for both six volts and 12 volts. Um, so if you just hit the uh, little buttons there, they light up orange. Swipe over, um, battery types, same thing. I use this for a variety of uh, stuff, so I'm gonna just go ahead and select all of them. Just kidding, LOLs. Oh yeah, there we go. So, go ahead and select all of them. Obviously, if you're only going to be using one or the other, then just select that. I'm sure this can be changed later on in the menu. And then the intended use. Um, most of the time, I'm gonna be using this for car. Oh, you can check more. Uh, car, sports car, um, we'll use other, I use a battery for uh, a canoe um, that has a motor on it. So finish that up, says it's complete. And now, perfect. Okay, so. So now that we're logged in, um, we can see on here basically that the charger is stopped because right now it's not hooked up to anything. And if we click over to it, uh, it pulls up a, uh, a screen here and shows all sorts of stuff, battery voltage, how uh, much power is going into it, the charger temp, and uh, it's like you can turn the charger on and off as well from the phone. So that is kind of nice that way in case you want to turn you know, the charger off or stop at a certain point, you can. So let's get this hooked up and see what happens. Okay, so I did get this um, plugged into, uh, I've got a deep cycle uh, 12 volt battery that I use for the, the canoe that I'd mentioned earlier. So right off the bat, you can see on here um, that it is charging, it's lit up green because it's charging, shows that it's 12 volts and 95%. Now it also shows that it's connected um, on here and so that way I know at a glance if it's uh, actually reporting online or not. So if we pull up the app here online, we can see uh, that it's charging and everything. So if we click on there, then it gives us all sorts of cool info. It gives us uh, charging mode, um, the percentage, uh, the battery voltage, how quickly it's charging. Uh, so this is charging at three amps because it is a larger battery and the charger temp is normal. Now a really cool thing here is that we can turn the charger on and off. So if I hit off, now we can see 
on the charger here that the little green light is not on. But if we go back over to the phone, we hit start charging again, boom, you can see that it lights up green and that it's charging. So that's gonna be super nice and, and really unique. So that way in case if you don't wanna leave it always plugged in, you don't have to. Um, you can leave it plugged in, excuse me, but you can turn the charger on and off, which is really cool. And right now it's completely, um, you know, unheard of right now for the uh, the industry. So super cool, again, off. And I mean, you can see it's really quick here. Now granted, I am on the Wi-Fi network, uh, the same one as the charger. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if, you know, when I'm out shopping or something like that, um, how quickly this is and, and how quickly it responds. Um, but otherwise it's, it's instantaneous and really cool, especially because we get to see the charging mode, um, battery info, and basically all the stuff that we need to see on the charger. Um, but we can see this anywhere. And then lastly, um, one other really cool thing about this um, is I've got the charger, not right now, but I'll be having it plugged into the same outlet as my fridge and out, uh, out in the garage. So then that way, if there's a power outage or something like that, I'll actually know. Um, I don't think right now that there's any setup that they have currently to uh, send you email alerts and, and that kind of thing, although I won't be surprised. Um, I literally have just completely set this up now for this video. Um, so I'll kind of report back and see how it, uh, how it looks and my thoughts on it after another couple weeks. And, uh, but otherwise, I'm, I'm very impressed with this. Um, the other really cool thing is if you do have a car in the garage that you want to normally keep there, you can see if it's plugged in or not. And so that way, you know, if the car was stolen um, or maybe, you know, the wife is out joyriding or you've got teenagers. Um, so this also is helpful for that. Obviously not its main purpose, um, but at least you can hop on real quick through the app and check to see how, you know, where the battery is at and voltage is, as well as, uh, you know, if it's plugged in and uh, make sure that when you do go out in the weekend on your boat, RV, um, or whatever, you've got a battery that, you know, you can rely on and trust because you know that it's been sitting there and it's actually charged and, and uh, is ready for uh, action.